Hey guys, this is Chris from Willard Tech here, back with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be answering the question, what does the S2 switch do on a DJI Phantom 3 standard controller? In a video that I uploaded a couple of months ago, I took an in-depth look at the DJI Phantom 3 standard controller, and in that video I mostly explained the modes of the S1 switch, not so much the S2 switch, and many people were asking what the heck does the S2 switch do? So I decided to make today's video for those people who are wondering what the heck does the S2 switch do? It's not as interesting as the S1 switch, but if you had that question and you wondered what the heck does it do, well, this is the video for you. So, let's get into the video. So just as a quick little overview for the S1 switch, what that did was there's a P mode, which is also known as GPS mode, and when it's in the top, that means that it flies through GPS. In the middle, it's also known as attitude mode, and this is where you can fly freely and it's not attached to GPS, but you can still have like return to home and stuff like that. Then lastly, there was F mode, which is also known as function mode and through this mode you get tons of super cool features and if you'd like to know more about that you can click up there once again to see in my other video in today's video for the s2 switch this has three functions first function is to link the remote controller to your drone if you say get a new remote controller or something just happens and it, they become unlinked from each other also you can reset your wi-fi from the s2 switch and you can also initiate probably the most useful and probably the one that you'll use the most is return to home. So first off, let's say that your remote controller has unlinked from your drone for some reason. I don't know why it would ever do this other than you unlinking it. But in order to link it again, you have to use the S2 switch. So to get in that mode, you have to pull the camera gimbal adjuster all the way down. And then you have to flip the S2 switch more than three times. So while holding that back, flip the switch more than three times back and forth to three, four, and it will begin beeping like this. Once your remote controller has begun beeping like this, just go to your drone, get yourself a small little screwdriver because on the bottom of this, you're gonna have to turn your drone around. And on the right side of the drone, you'll find a little button right here. It's right next to the battery and to link your remote controller, you just have to hold in this button for a couple of seconds. One, two, three and your drone has been paired. You'll see now once again, your remote controller has been connected with your drone and you'll know this by seeing ready to go GPS and you'll also be able to, you know, control your drone. So that is use case number one. So now use case number two for the S2 switch is to reset your Wi-Fi. Say you keep getting the error that you can't connect to your Wi-Fi because you've forgotten your Wi-Fi password and you'd like to reset it to factory default. In order to do that, you have to get the gimbal adjuster once again, put the adjuster all the way to the right or up for more than one second, and then begin flipping the S2 switch back and forth really fast until the remote controller's light right here begins blinking red and green. That means that the Wi-Fi has been reset. So now you just have to turn off your remote controller and turn it back on once again. And now once you go back into settings, you'll see that your DJI Phantom 3 standard or any other DJI drones, Wi-Fi signal has been reset to the default. Now, the password for this is just 12341234. Now you can join, and there you go. Now you've got access to your drone's Wi-Fi once again. So now let's just say you don't really like the way that that looks, and I know that I don't. You just go back into the DJI app, go to settings, click on the little Wi-Fi icon, and right here you'll see the SSID. For me, I'm just gonna change my name to Carson's Phantom 3, click OK, and then click Apply. And then it says restart the remote controller to apply these changes. Restart now. You have to go back into your settings, and you're gonna have to reconnect to your drone's Wi-Fi because the SSID changed, so your phone will recognize it as different. So now just make sure that it connects and there you go. So now last up, the probably most important thing that you're going to be able to do with the S2 switch is return to home. So let's take off really quick. Okay, so now as you can see, we've flown away and I really, I don't understand why you'd want to do this with the actual physical button because on the actual phone itself, you can click on return to home 
But I guess if this fails for some reason, then you can return to home with the S2 switch. So in order to get it to return to home, you just have to flip the switch two times and it will return to home. As you can hear, now it's returning to home. And you can also see on your screen that it's doing that. So now that it's returning to home, say you still don't have access to your phone for some reason and you'd like to cancel the return to home, just flip the right switch, the S1 switch, to any other mode and that will cancel the RTH which is return to home. Really what that's just doing is it taking it out of the mode that it was in. But once again, you can start return to home with the S2 switch and it will fully return to home. As you can see, there we are right there on the basketball court and it will return to its takeoff position. And there we go, landing it is. So anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe and see more videos like this, click that button down below even if you're on mobile. If you'd like to see my last video, that should be up there. And if you'd like to see the other video that I was talking about on the S1 Switch that I made a couple of months ago, you can check that out down there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next video. Peace.